Hello and welcome. Um, today I'm going to set up this lab, then uh, you can find it on the Pinet uh, store for a VPC. VPC it's basically why you need a VC VCP. So, as you know, if you have an, a switch, or in this case, two switch, and you want to create a port channel, the switch must be the same on a stack. So, you can connect. Uh, to another switch and create a port channel, but sometimes it's not possible because, for example, uh, switch number one and number two uh, and number three, they are in three different floor or three different location. So, VPC uh, with, sorry, VPC, you can build a virtual port channel. Then means uh, VPC. Uh, I'm going to set up this one with uh, uh, Cisco Nexus. Then uh, uh, this lab is pretty heavy and I will show you uh, because it uh, required lots of RAM to be honest. I'm working on Google Cloud but uh, still heavy. Uh, if I go here, system, as you can see it's uh, the RAM it's almost uh, almost 100% uh, basically. Keep in mind I'm, I'm running another lab with three firewall uh, switches and server etc etc. Obviously it's no help. But anyway for this lab it's more than enough. So first, um, first I'm going to set uh, switch 1 and switch 2. They are basically the same configuration and then uh, we move into switch 3. So type the password admin admin one two three admin admin one two three all right so under configuration mode coin type uh, interface mg mt zero vrf vrf member management ip add 172.16.12.1 slash 24 the same things have to be done even in the other firewall so let's me let me copy uh, of course the pinet lab you have even the workbook so you can do it uh, very easily of course and uh, vrf member management IP address 172 16.12.2 slash 24 and exit. So at this point I'm going to enable the feature feature PPC feature LACP same story to the other one PPC feature, feature uh, LACP. So at this point I'm going to set uh, the port channel uh, group 1000 so interface E1 slash 1 dash 2 then uh, switch port switch port mode trunk uh, mode trunk and then uh, channel group 1000 mode active same story to the switch 2 interface e1 slash 1 dash 2 uh, 0 slash 1 dash 2 ah uh, sorry it's 1 and uh, switch port, switch port, mode trunk, uh, and then channel group uh, 1000, mode active, no shut, and even here I have to say no shut, all right, and exit. So at this point I'm going to create a VPC domain of course, VPC domain 1000 peer 
per switch roll priority 250 then uh, peer keep a leave uh, uh, destination 172.16.12.2 source 172.16.12.1 PRF management same story to the other switch of course so let's do it quickly so peer switch peer switch switch roll priority to five one peer keep a leave destination one seventy two sixteen twelve one sorts uh, my keyboard make me crazy sorts one seventy two sixteen dot twelve dot two uh, VRF management right now it's faded but it's alright no problem so uh, peer gateway layer 3 uh, peer router IP ARP sync and exit you have to type the same command here so peer gateway and layer 3 sorry peer gateway layer 3 peer router IP ARP sync now let's see if uh, Again, just a few more commands and it's done. Uh, interface uh, PO 1000, 1000. Then uh, we're going to say switch port, switch port mode uh, uh, trunk, spanning tree, port type network, VPC link. Uh, peer link peer link exit same story <laughs> need to be done uh, of course even for this switch so interface uh, PO 1000 switch port switch port mode trunk spanning tree port type network VPC peer link and exit so at this point uh, we are going to see if the VPC is up or not show VPC then if it's everything okay should, should say up okay adjacency format peer is not reachable uh, success success uh, primary I think it's fine to me yeah. look good show VPC VPC capital uh, IP destination not reachable let me show let me see one thing to show run quickly destination 12.1 uh, okay then okay as my uh, this keyboard man is disaster uh, VPC domain 1000 so let me let me just change quickly this one uh, 172 One second, copy, paste, copy and paste. Okay, 
ratio of run that should be fine in this part maybe 12 uh, blah 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 yes is correct show bpc all right is fine okay then okay okay exit q and exit now we are going going to to set the the, the rest i mean the other switch so uh we're going to create a vlan 1900 so uh conf t vlan 1900 and then uh, we're going to say exit interface e1 slash 3 switch port switch port um, access VLAN 1900 channel group 3 mode active no shut same story and the, uh, the switch 2 but of course port is 1 slash 4 so VLAN 1900 exit interface 1 slash 4 interface e1 slash 4 right switch port switch port uh, access VLAN 1900 channel group uh, channel group uh, uh, 3 mode active and no shot so at this point uh, we go to channel group uh, uh, 3 so interface PO3 switch port VPC 980 no shot and uh, the same things in on the in this other switch so interface PO3 switch port VPC 980 no shot let's see because as you can see it's a bit uh, slow I mean it's not uh, you type the command and go straight so we keep going to the configuration and let me check show vpc then uh, so this is look good good all right then and po3 900 all right a poe uh, po sorry not poe po uh, 1000 up and this is up so let's look good so now we are going to set the other switch of course so let's see how to do it it's very easy so just open this one open move this one here admin admin one two three Obviously, the, pa the password uh, is up to you. Huh? I mean, <laughs> I just put admin123, but you can choose any password you want, of course. So, VLAN 1900. Exit. Interface E1 slash uh, 3 dash 4. Switch port. Switch port access. VLAN 1900 channel group 3 mode active active no shot uh, and that's all basically uh, as I need to be start before configure active or passive feature alright feature LACP 
and then uh, we go back here and then uh, let me let me go to say oops a channel group two it's three sorry uh, let me say no and then we go to say yes active no shut then we all we get we open again the console for switch one and again show vpc basically that's all uh, the vpc is formed the end is up this is the configuration for v vpc on cisco nexus so it's nothing so complex uh, for now is everything you as i said in the beginning uh, of the video you can find this video on the pnet uh, uh, website i mean uh, the pnet store you can download i think it's not uh, missing the the image on this lab but you can download it from uh, iShare very easy and for now it's everything thank you for watching